Quick update guys, 6th of October, I've been down here for about an hour now, um, here's the top beds, that's how low they're going to be, ok you might think well that ain't really a raised bed, it is because this is going to be a path and that's going to be dug down to there so it's lower than this and then that can go into the bed here which is going to be possibly the same height because it's nearly on the level then so I'm trying to level it out and then the next one will have to be stepped down a little bit but hopefully by doing this I'll have enough soil to fill each bed up as you can see it's level with that sort of top and then subsequently any excess soil can move over to this bed and subsequently when I've done this one and then the one across there that soil then can come over to this one and as this will be lower again if if this is lower I might have some extra soil from here to wheelbarrow hopefully to these beds over here but I will be taking these up cutting a foot off the ends of here and making these the same width as those I left these in because I'd already got onions in and I, did, I must have done a bit of a miscalculation didn't want to disturb them they're all out now by doing that shortening it I've got a bigger gap here so I can actually walk up by the beans um, so it'll come to about here and also I'm going to lower this right down to the same level as all over here so I haven't got a great big gap underneath I will have a gap here I have to put two boards up which is fine same as here this one isn't too bad but again there are gaps so I might have to unscrew those and lower those again the wood's perfectly fine it's all screwed in it's not nailed together so I can unscrew it and do it all again um, and I'm going to put buttons across them to split this into so probably four beds possibly it's 26 foot so well sevens 28 six and a half let's go three three eight beds it's 24 in it so i might have a couple of feet but i'll work it out by doing that it'll strengthen this so this stops doing all this wobbly wobbly um it'll strengthen it and it'll mean i can fill them up gradually to the top level without going out and buying two million pounds worth of soil <coughs> and off shit uh, and hopefully get each one done as I go through next season and the same with this one as well I'll do exactly the same with this and then it's all done all that's done all this area then all I've got to do is the back end new shed tidy all that up get rid of some of the stuff that I inherited and then it's all done really and then it's just a matter of when the wood chip arrives every now and again getting my arse into gear buying a wheelbarrow but the wood chip believe it or not it's delivered and it's, it's actually put you might be able to see it right over there there's a portal toilet it's put over there so I've got to come all the way down down here but I might take the car up and put a bin liner a big um, I've got some of those rubble bag there sorry the um, soil delivery bags and just a couple of them put it in the back of the car drop the car off here and just try and drag them do the pass up the top end and then drag it round down here bit by bit in fact if I put them on here I can always dump them in a big pile over here but that's, that's not yet <laughs> by that time it'll probably be Christmas but hey hey it's coming along and obviously I've got to get to my Tividale pot as well and uh, sort that out as a fruit site only um, these rhubarb are growing again here I was going to let them die down but I might pick some of them Anyway you know, guys, um, oh Terry, you wanted to quickly see what I've done about the roof in the polytunnel. As I said in my reply, I haven't quite done it yet. <laughs> no chance yet. But I've got some plastic poles such as this. And I'm going to get some connectors, I'm going to get a few more of these. I'm going to run it straight down the middle, it just pushes it up a little bit and makes it a bit tauter. Um, and then sort that out um, and then I'm going to get the pieces of wood such as all these cut to a length 
and I'll get one that's not going to be used but it'll show you a bit what I want what I'm meaning I'm going to do remember I've got raised beds inside so what I'm going to do is put these on the outside stretch it down a bit put some masking tape on the inside as well stretch it down screw through here one two three or maybe one two one two one two screws put it in and that'll hold it and it won't move then okay you see that sorry guys camera works crap again that's the idea and it'll hopefully tighten it up a bit because these are actually made to fit the frames and unless you're a civil engineer and get them absolutely dead flat and square it just don't happen but it ain't bad it ain't bad by a rookie first time of putting something that big up anyway and concrete and stuff in so I'm pleased with what I've done oh and I've finished digging it all in that's what I've just been doing so I've just got to pat that about but this is what I'm saying I'm going to be putting um, a path not right up to it about here to here two and a half foot path straight down and then I'll put a narrower bed across here for some other types of I don't know, maybe fruit, but I'm going to use Tividale for fruit, but I might have some fruit because my mum and dad keep on about it. And then some another one here, path, another bed, another bed here. But anyway, I'm boring to all to tears now probably, so. Uh, I don't want to do a 20 minute video because I've got to admit, sometimes I get a bit turned off by watching 25 minutes. But there you go, butternut squashes, update as well. But when they've been picked, I'll do a proper update. And anyway, from me, Netherton, and me wonky donkey shed. It's still up, it hasn't fallen down quite yet. Cheers guys. Bye.